Hi guys, it's Percy once again for another amazing and stupendous and awe-inspiring Percy's Fasted Toy Story for today. And our Fasted Toy Story for today is... Ta-da! <laughs> okay, this is Barbie doll. Okay, so this particular miniature version of Barbie doll is actually from McDonald's Happy Meal. Well, as you can see, uh, she's wearing a very slick gown. By the looks of it, I think this particular Barbie doll has a uh, fashion sense uh, way back during the 1970s, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> okay, and um, well, uh, back in the days when yo-yos are a fad. Well, <laughs> this is our yo-yo playing Barbie doll, but I don't think the wardrobe is actually a match for a yo-yo player. <laughs> She's all dressed up for a party, but instead of going to the party, you know, some fancy, uh, fancy gathering, uh, she opted to play with a yo-yo, <laughs> okay? which is very very Barbie like because this is a fun little girl she's very versatile I mean she can go to a fancy party you know partying with the elites and professionals and uh, at the same time she also makes it a point to have a lot of fun okay and I'm pretty sure a lot of girls uh, have played with Barbie during their childhood um, and sometimes it becomes utterly difficult for them to outgrow their love for Barbie. Well, I've seen a lot of adult women and men also who are still into Barbie dolls and they actually have a lot of, uh, you know, astonishing collection of this uh, particular toy. One of the most collected um, collected toy is that of Barbie doll. So I could only surmise that little girls, when they grow up and they're being prompted by their parents to please outgrow your love for Barbie doll. Okay, you're already a teenager, you should probably get into other hobbies or other play things. And it's very difficult, especially if you're really into and into Barbie and you have this collection that uh, that holds a lot of meaning in your life so uh, so, for, so for those who are um, okay uh, so for those who who ended up actually derelicting or abandoning this toy this is probably uh, a, a most heartbreaking moment in their lives I mean to actually give up so much like the scene in Toy Story when uh, Andy was all grown up and he had to give up all the toys that he have he has loved so very much when he was still a kid but he of course gave them handed them to another kid who he thinks um, who he thinks would actually take good care of the toys and by taking care of them I mean um, she would play with them, she would uh, treat them as though they were um, real and that's basically uh, who the lucky recipient is. The little girl who has this wild imagination also who's constantly playing with the toys. That was a very memorable, it was very heartbreaking for me, I mean especially for Andy to, to, uh, to see Andy giving up the toys. Uh, but then it all goes well, especially when you know the toys are in good hands. So, uh, to all the little girls who actually have to give up the, their love for this uh, woman, this Barbie doll, <laughs> yeah, uh, just give them a good home. I mean, give them to uh, another girl who might, who will actually appreciate them and to actually uh, play with the, your, you know. Uh, how do you call that? Uh, to play with your uh, pre-loved toys, uh, pre-loved Barbie dolls. So, but then, uh, you know, it's still a little bit painful to actually part ways with uh, such an iconic toy who has been um, very, very much part of your childhood. So, 
as a tribute to this particular toy, Barbie doll, and as a tribute to all those, you know, all grown-up girls who gave up uh, their toys, their Barbie doll toys. This song is dedicated to all of you and to our Fast and Toy Story for today! Let's go up in space 